Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at this stuff. Slippery Dicks. Fantastic name for a product in my opinion. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So we're going to take my trusty ATA, which has never had any oil, varnish, or any kind of treatment on it before. Uh, we're just going to see what the, uh, what the wax does to it. Alright, so Paul at Slippery Dicks has done a, a fair few uh, YouTube videos now on how to use his products. So I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it, because uh, I'll leave it up to Paul to show you. But I'm just going to give my gun a, a little once over with the wax, and just see how she turns out. If you've never applied any finish to your gun before, it's probably worth noting to avoid the checkering as best you can. As soon as you start getting anything in there, it's an absolute pig to get it back out. And don't put too much on either. So just a little bit, a little bit goes quite a long way. Um, so you just wanna get it in there with your thumb, or you can use a, a rag or a cloth, and just really work it in there, try and get a little bit of heat into it, doesn't hurt. And just do little bits at a time. So I'm gonna crack on with this, and then we'll see how she turns out once it's all done. Right, so it didn't take too long to actually wax the gun. Uh, you are meant to leave it on to dry and then buff it off. Uh, I probably didn't leave it long enough in all in all honesty. Uh, quite impressed with the results. Doesn't look too bad at all. It's probably quite difficult to tell in this lighting, um, but there is a little bit more of a shine to the stock. But obviously if you want a real deep shine, then you know an oil finish is gonna obviously be the best results, but this wax should be giving me a little bit more um, weather protection. Obviously, given this time of year, we definitely need it. I think for 5 95 it's worth a try.